What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elves came... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. is right there. Yeah, but there was a Nornier chest down here last time. <laughs> oh, guess they moved it. There it is, 
Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. I think I see something. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... 
like me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No, I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. <laughs> Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Maybe you can throw those back at him! <laughs>
Down here. Far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf... Innocent? ...and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. 
What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Out of here. Through here. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 
Let's go, let's go. Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We... Open the gateway, please. the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. 
We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Hail, fellow travelers! <laughs> would have been a shame to have left that behind. <gasps> Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy nokin is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. This axe just keeps getting stronger.
What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. <gasps> Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated gulag. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps ah! we find a cave first to catch our bearings. A tempting treasure chest. Damn the sand. entrance. <sighs> this cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. <sighs> Great. to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alfarm, can you really blame them?
patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. You heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just. I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. Talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm 
just surprised it's what you want, too. to get there. I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes, getting involved where we shouldn't.
That bomb should help us out. It's just... Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphine, we wind up hurting Dark Elf? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that. But I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay.
found it. Uh, what is it? Great Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well... And I'll be Leonard. Hmm. <gasps> 